Hello and welcome to The Vuyo Show, a global storytelling platform that shares authentic stories to inspire, ignite and invite you to live your best life. Today, we share the story of Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles. I am not the next Usain Bolt or Michael Phelps. I am the first Simone Biles. These are the words of one of the greatest gymnasts of all time, who has consistently carved her path with unparalleled excellence, brilliance and individuality. She holds four gold medals, one silver and two bronze medals from the Olympics. The world knows her as an autistic gymnast and her name is Simone Biles. Simone Biles was born on March 14th in 1997 in Columbus, Ohio in the USA. The first couple of years of Simone's life were not easy. At age three, her and her three siblings were placed in foster care and later were adopted by their grandparents Nellie and Ronald Biles. Since then, she has called them mom and dad. In the Facebook watch series Simone vs. Herself, she revealed that her biological mother, Shannon, struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. Her biological mom was in and out of jail, and she recalls how they sometimes went without food. I don't remember a lot about foster care, but I definitely knew that we had been taken from our biological mom, and then you just think you're going to go back to her, Bal shared. Her biological father, Calvin Clements, met Shannon while they were both teenagers. Being separated from my biological mom, being placed in foster care before I officially got adopted by my grandparents, it just set me up for a better route in life, Bal said. I feel I wouldn't be where I am unless that turning point happened. Her grandmother, Nellie Biles, cherished the moments she shared with Biles and her siblings, claiming, I remember praying for that bonding. Biles attended Benfer Elementary School in Harris County, Texas. In 2012, she switched from public school to homeschooling, allowing her to increase her training from about 20 to 32 hours a week. She would complete her high school degree in mid-2015. Biles verbally committed to UCLA on August 4, 2014 and signed a national letter of intent in November of 2014. Planning to defer enrollment until after the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Instead, on July 29, 2015, she announced that she would turn professional and forfeit her NCAA eligibility to compete for UCLA. Biles first tried gymnastics at age six during a daycare field trip. The instructor suggested she continued with the sport. She soon enrolled in an optional training program at Balance Gymnastics. She began training with coach Amy Borman at age eight. Biles then began her elite gymnastics career at age 14 on July 1st, 2011. At the 2011 American Classic, in Houston. She placed third all around, first on vault and balance beam, fourth on floor exercise and eighth on uneven bars. Later that month, Bals competed at the 2011 US Classics in Chicago, Illinois, where she placed 20th all round, fifth on a balance beam and floor exercise. Biles' first meet of 2012 was the American Classic hosted in Hutsville, Texas. She was placed first on all round and on vault, tied second on floor exercise, was placed third on balance beam and fourth on uneven bars. Her placement in the American Classic secured her a spot to compete at the 2012 USA Gymnastics National Championships. She later competed at the 2012 U.S. Classic in Chicago. She finished first all round and on vault, second on floor exercise, and sixth on balance beam. Later that year in June, she made her second appearance at the U.S. National Championships in St. Louis, Missouri. 
She finished third all round, first on vault and sixth on uneven bars, balance beam and floor exercise. After this performance, Biles was named to the U.S. Junior National Team by a committee headed by Martha Caroli, the National Team Coordinator. In 2016, Biles began her season at the Pacific Rim Championships, where she won the all-round title and had the highest score on vault, where she debuted a most difficult second vault, floor exercise where she debuted a new floor routine and a balance beam. Additionally, the US won the team title by a wide margin. Biles did not compete in the event finals. On June 4th, she competed at the Secret US Classic on only two events, then even bars and beam. She placed first on balance beam with 15.650 and placed fifth on an even bars with 15.1. In the following weeks at the 2016 US National Championships, Biles won the all-round title by a wide margin of 3.9 points. She won the gold medal on vault and floor exercise, receiving scores of at least 16 all four times. She also won the gold medal on balance beam and placed fourth on uneven bars. On July 10th, Biles named to the team for the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics. In September 2016, Biles' medical information was released and she was accused of doping to enhance performance by the Russian media following the Russian cyber espionage group Fancy Beer's hack into the World Anti-Doping Agency. Biles then disclosed on Twitter that she had attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and was permitted to take medication for it. Having applied for and receiving a therapeutic use exemption, she was applauded for opening up about ADHD. With four Olympic gold medals, Biles set an American record for most gold medals in women's gymnastics at a single game and equaled a number of other records with her medals won in Rio. Biles winning four medals was the first instance of a quadruple gold medalist in women's gymnastics at a single games since the year 1984. She became the sixth female gymnast to have won an individual all-around title at both World Championships and the Olympics. Biles is the first female gymnast since the year 1996 to win gold in an all-round as well as an in-event final and the first female gymnast since Podka Payave to win the Olympic all-round title while holding the world and European American individual all-round titles. She joins others as the fourth female gymnast to win every major all-round title in an Olympic cycle. On January 18th in the year 2018, Biles revealed on Twitter that former USA gymnastics physician Larry Naza had sexually assaulted her and that USA gymnastics had helped allow the abuse to occur and to cover it up. She did not attend Nazir's sentence hearings from January 16th to 24th in the year 2018, saying that she wasn't emotionally ready to face Larry Nazar again. Biles and other survivors were awarded the Arthur Usher Courage Award in 2018 at the 2018 U.S. National Championships. She wore a teal leotard that she had designed to honor the survivors of Nazir's abuse as a statement of unity. On September 15, 2021, she testified to the Senate Judicial Committee that she blamed their entire system for enabling and perpetuating Nazar's crimes, saying that USA Gymnastics and the USA Olympic and Paralympic Comedy Committee failed to do their jobs. Three of her national teammates also came forward and testified with her. 
Biles and her teammate Gabby Douglas are the only American female gymnasts to win the individual all-round gold and team gold at the same Olympiad. Biles was chosen by Team USA to be the flag bearer in the closing ceremonies, becoming the first American female gymnast to receive this honor. Biles was named Individual Sportswoman of the Year by the Women's Sports Foundation in 2014. And after the World Championships, she was named one of ESPNW's Impact 25. She was also named Team USA Female Olympic Athlete of the Year in December 2015, making her the fourth gymnast to win this honor. In December 2016, she was chosen as one of the sponsors for the U.S. Navy aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, alongside Olympic gold medal winning swimmer Katie Ledecky. In 2016, Simone Biles won the Glamour Award for the record breaker. That same year, she was chosen as one of BBC's 100 Women, as well as ESPN's Women of the Year. She was also the one of the finalists for Time's 2016 Person of the Year. Biles was also nominated for the 2016 EPSI Award for Best Female Athlete. And in the same year, she became the third gymnast to be named the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year. In 2017, Biles won the Epsi Award for Best Female Athlete. She is the second gymnast to win this award since the year 2009. In the same year, she won the Shorty Awards for Best in Sports. In the same year, she also won the Teen Choice Awards for Best and Favorite Female Athlete. In that exact year, she also won the Lacrae's World Sports Award for Sportswoman of the Year. In 2021, Biles criticized ESPN's Sports Center for excluding women athletes in their greatest of all time picture. In September 2021, she appeared on the Time 100, an annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world, and she championed for mental health. On July 7, 2022, Biles was presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest honor given to civilians by President Joe Biden in a ceremony at the White House. She was among 17 honorees and she is the youngest person to receive this award. In April 2024, Biles was awarded her fourth career LaRousse World Sports Award in the category of Comeback of the Year. And in July 2024, she was awarded the Best Comeback Athlete at the ESPY Awards. She started dating a professional American football player, Jonathan Owens, in August of 2020. She then announced her engagement to Owens on February 15, 2022. The couple got married on April 22, 2023. Simone is a daughter, a wife, a sister, a friend, and to the world, she is one of the greatest athletes of all time. This is a story of Simone Biles. Thank you for listening. This is the Vuyo Show. We would like to hear from you. Were you inspired, ignited, or did her story invite you to find your purpose? Let us know your thoughts and let us know whose story would you like us to share next. My name is Vuyo Jamoda. I'll see you on the next episode.